Hey guys, One Fit Bruja here, and I am finally back. It's been like, I don't know, a few weeks. It feels like a month went by. So many things have been going on that I just haven't had enough time to get anything up. And I know I was supposed to put up the success bell tonight, but I'm actually going to be doing something else for some friends and some coworkers. So I figured since I'm doing that, I might as well make a video about it. And I'm going to have to push out that video until next weekend. I'm really, really going to try hard to get that one out. Really, really hard. And some of you have asked me about um, protection. So this is actually going to be for protection, household protection. And I think it's actually a good thing because around this time of year, robberies have been going up and there's a lot of people getting their presents and stuff stolen and we don't need any of that we've worked our butt off to try and you know make things nice for everyone for the holidays and then that happens no so i'm going to show you guys how to make a witch's ball um more like a new age witch's ball because old age witch's ball compared to what we make now is more like a witch's bottle inside an ornament inside one of these so it's kind of like a witch's bottle, but it's a witch's ball, or you can call it a Yule ball, because that is what I'm making it for. You can hang it on your tree, hang it above a window or a doorway to protect your home. It can capture any bad energies or spirits or um, deflect any unwanted people or persons that you don't want to come into your home. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make that, and if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. So you're going to need a white candle and here I have a cinnamon candle going and I'm borrowing the property of protection from that. You will need a clear glass ornament ball, some bells, and some sandalwood or cinnamon incense will do. I'm just using that for protection and to enhance my psychic abilities, some amethyst, some noble fir trimmings or any tree of your liking that provides protection as a property some moss and some cinnamon sticks some sage orange peel majorum rosemary lavender basil oregano and cloves So first off, I'm going to smudge all my items, my ingredients that are going to be going into this Yule Ball, myself, and my area. Nothing too thorough since I do have sandalwood burning in the background and that is pretty cleansing in itself. So this is just an extra measure that I like to take before I start just to remove any negative juju that my items have collected. So first off, we're gonna take off the top here and I'm going to cleanse that out as well. I don't know about you guys, but watching smoke fill up like a glass bottle or a box of some sort and having it swirl around is like super relaxing to me. So I decided to leave it in the video. So my first layer is going to be salt. And yes, I am holding regular table salt and you can enchant that and empower that yourself. It doesn't have to be some sort of special salt of any kind. This will do. This will do the same as another store-bought salt of a better quality. It will still work just as well.
So now I'm going to go in with roughly three small little pinches of moss and I'm going to enchant that as I go and I'm going to place that in there of course for protection. Next up is a little trimming of my noble fur that I have this year for Yule and I'm going to place that in there for protection as well and then enchant as I go. You'll notice that I'm doing this quite a bit in this video. I am trying to show you guys uh, more of like what I would do off camera instead of trying to edit it out and you know go faster to the motions so this is me this is what I do I enchant I take time to enchant and power between every single one so here I am doing the same thing with the cinnamon stick and I'll be placing that in there as well I don't know why, but when I was showing the ball at this part, it kind of reminded me of like a tiny little Celtic witchy village inside of it. I don't know why, that's just the kind of vibe that I got from it. And of course guys, you don't need all these herbs and all these spices to make this Yule ball. Just work with what you have, enchant the shit out of it, and it'll be just as powerful as one that has you know 10 12 materials ingredients inside of it guys the magic is all within you it's all within you okay so i just got done adding the oregano and now i'm going to go in with the lavender Next up, I'm gonna be putting in some good old rosemary. I love rosemary, it's so multi-purpose and you can use it for anything in your craft. Anything, literally. Next up, I'm going in with basil and I'll be doing roughly three pinches of that. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I like working in threes, so I like to do threes of everything, just about everything. Sometimes I'll just, you know, listen to my intuition and kind of go from there and then add what I think I need to add. But for the most part, threes has been a magical number for me, so that's what I like to do. Next up, I'm going in with the majorum, and 
I'll be doing roughly three pinches of that. And you guys can layer this differently than what I did. You can totally, you know, put the salt and place the looser ingredients on the bottom first and then do the bigger ones on top to make it look more neat. But I didn't really care too much about the neatness. I mean, I was just going off energy, like feels, like what should I put in next kind of feels. Next up is one of my faves. I'm gonna be going with the cloves and I'll be doing roughly three pinches of that. Okay guys, let me tell you about this sage. This sage smells so good. I got this from a fellow witch that I work with and she picked this fresh from Idaho, dried it out. So the intent and the energy is super high in this sage. You'll notice that after I was done adding this in and enchanting it, I shook my hands around because they got this strong tingling sensation to them. And that happens when I feel like an energy overload. So that's what happened there. <laughs> Plus, not to mention that there is a full moon in Cancer as I'm doing this. Like, the energies are high tonight, guys. The energies are high this Yule. Next up, some freshly dried orange pill. I snapped this in half and then I could smell some of the orange come out, so I had to just take a big ol' whiff before I popped that in there. So I am gonna be using this for protection. I know that when you look up magical properties for orange pill, protection is not one of them. But I feel like since this is an encasing of a fruit that keeps the fruit protected and it doesn't rot too easily, not like a banana pill. I feel like this is more like a stronger skin and that it will, you know, work well as far as protection goes. So I decided to put that in there because that's the kind of energy that I got off of it. Next up, I'm going to be adding three silver bells. There are some gold ones in there, but I decided I wanted the silver ones inside my Yule Ball. And I'm gonna be using these to banish negative energies and spirits, because you know the lore behind it is when you shake the bell, the sound, it wrecks havoc upon malicious entities and spirits that are trying to get at you, and it wards them away. So it's great for protection as well, so I put that in there. Next up, you're gonna need a small piece of paper and you're gonna be writing your name or whoever you're making this for, his name is gonna be on there with their full birth date and you can put any protective sigils you can anoint it if you want and i decided i was going to do a pinnacle on the back and then i'm going to roll this little scroll up and i'm going to tie it with some string and you can color coordinate the string to depending on your properties i decided to use a brown green-ish sort of string because I wanted the brown to be 
for household protection. So that's what I correlated that with. And I'm going to roll that up. I'm going to wrap the string around it. And I'm going to knot the string three times and stating my blessings for this person out loud as far as protection goes within their life. So now I'm going to take my white candle. Oh, I forgot to mention that I did engrave Yule Blessings onto my candle. You can't really see it, but I did. And I'm going to drip that onto my scroll to seal all that goodness inside and to enhance the ingredients and materials that are inside my Yule Ball all around. And now I'm going to enchant and chant my incantation as many times as I feel I need to. Cold of winter, season of night, bless this household with protection and light. So when I'm done, I'm going to probably sit this next to some crystals like so, preferably amethyst because it can go for psychic protection against attacks. So I'm going to put a ton of amethyst all over my altar and let all these balls charge there. All right, so I've just shown you guys how I make my own personal witch's ball for Yule. Uh, you don't have to do it exactly like this, of course, and certain things like the orange peel I used, I said I used for protection when I was doing the voiceover, uh, but that's because my own personal belief and the way I feel about its energy steers towards protection. It's protecting the fruit that is inside, so I feel like that will do that in my life as well. Um, I didn't explain that too great, but hopefully you understood what I meant. So that's why I steered towards using the orange peel as protection in this. Even though uh, the magic properties that you may research or someone may have told you otherwise, but I'm using my own intuition and, you know, my mind's eye to, to work this through. This is how I feel about it. You may not feel the same way about it, and that's fine. You can use whatever you want to use in this. You just listen to yourself, put the ingredients in that you feel like are going to be the most powerful, that are going to protect your home from harm. They're going to get rid of all the unwanted energies and people that are trying to get in your home. And as for the paper, the petition paper I put in there, these are going to be for specific people. So I put specific names and birth dates. You can put sigils on the back of that as well. You don't have to do a pinnacle like I did. Um, there's many different ways you can do this and I've seen plenty of witches get super creative like you don't have to do it the way I did it you can make like a whole little you know yuletide wonderland in this if you're you know that artistic about it and still have it be magical and protect your home but this is my way and that's what I like to do and this is what makes me feel the safest so yeah, there's my own personal uh, way of making my witch's ball for Yule, and I will get that success bell up as soon as I can. I know I said that 10 million times, but I'm going to, after the holidays are over, I'm pretty sure I'll be uploading once a week again, so that stuff will be going up on a regular basis once again. Until next time, I will see all your lovely little brujitas later.